Well, some transportation news. Driverless vehicles have made a lot of headlines in San Francisco, as you know, both positive and negative. ABC 7 News reporter Tara Campbell explains a new study from Waymo that claims driverless cars are far safer than ones with humans behind the wheel. So this is our ride right here, and see, I actually just pulled in down there. ABC 7 News executive producer Brandon Bailey is talking about Waymo robo-taxis. Bailey's been leading the way on the station's coverage of both Waymo and Cruise autonomous cabs. We've been covering it since, um, since April of this year and just watched the trajectory of both of these companies, Cruise and Waymo. Wednesday, Waymo releasing a new study showing its fully driverless taxis have a 90% lower crash rate than human drivers in San Francisco. Now is, is developed a, what we think is an uh, accurate comparison of humans driving in the same uh, conditions. Trent Victor is the director of safety research at Waymo and says this is a first-of-its-kind study covering a little over 7 million miles in three cities, including more than a million and a half miles in San Francisco, comparing driverless cabs with human drivers. When we compare those uh, two with each other, we see that we're involved in far fewer crashes. We're in view, involved in far fewer injuries and police reports. You know, 7 million miles sounds like a lot, but it's really a small sample size. So when you start to think about how that translates over hundreds of millions of miles of driving, uh, again, I think this is early innings, but but encouraging. Waymo submitted the study to scientific journals to be peer-reviewed, a process that's likely to take several months. In the meantime, there have been some outside academics who have already looked at the paper, examined it. They'd say that there's some some really interesting numbers that that sound really upbeat notes about the safety of autonomous driving technology. The study comes on the heels of this crash in San Francisco involving a cruise vehicle, which prompted the DMV to pull their license to operate in California, stalling the AV industry's momentum. I think, especially after what happened to Cruise, the battle that Waymo and all these robot taxi companies are facing is a battle over PR, right? Public perception. Are these vehicles safe? Are they safe and are they reliable? We've seen countless incidents of robo-taxis stalled, blocking traffic and even emergency vehicles. All right, so now it says waiting for intersection to clear. Brandon experiencing a hiccup himself, the Waymo refusing to turn left at this intersection. To rider support. Waymo says they're working on ways to measure these types of incidents and that this latest study isn't about any of the inconveniences. Today we're talking about crash involvement and, and the hard, cold science of safety impact assessment is is very well understood. Tara Campbell, ABC7 News.